from the giant mistake we made yesterday. All right, time to start fixing that mistake. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Today, we got the big guns out. We got the big armor out. We got the big everything out. We're going to be trying to do some nutty stuff today. I think you guys heard about my plans, what the nuttiness will ensue. That nuttiness will be Bunker Bravo. The Horde decide to pay a visit. We'll go ahead and patch that up. But we are finally going back to the infamous Bunker Bravo. Last time we went there, things did not go super well for us because we realized that there was a ginormous horde that pooped all over our hopes and dreams. So this time we're heading back and we're heading back with the big guns. Not just the big guns, the biggest gun in the game. We got the minigun that we just got freshly off completing Bunker Alpha. I think we'll head back to Bunker Alpha for a future video action. I'll try to show you guys the best way of defeating it because I've done a little bit of research into that. So I want to try and demonstrate to you guys, show you the best way possible that that's going to be able to happen. And also it means more loot. Now I don't know if we get the minigun again, but I do know that we'll be able to get some good loot and we have like a couple alpha cards lying around anyway. Now the question is, do I need another Bunker Bravo card or will this still be open? If I need another one, we may have just bamboozled ourselves pretty hard, which would be very embarrassing, but I would do something about. Uh, so far, it looks to be still open from the giant mistake we made yesterday. All right, time to start fixing that mistake. Ah, kill it all. Oh no, that does a lot of damage. Hallelujah for this armor. Ah, we leveled up. That's how much. Oh my God, this minigun is nutty. Well, that's how you beat Bunker at Bravo really quickly. If you have a minigun, it's not really fair. I went into that so ill prepared because I just realized that we didn't even have anything to uh, heal up after we got hurt. But all we had to do was use up about a third of our minigun. We still have so much left over and uh, Bunker Bravo has been defeated. So we actually get to go and explore this thing, but... <laughs> I actually thought that that was about to go really south because in the middle of mowing all the zombies down, I'm like, wait, they're about to do a lot of damage to me, aren't they? But we have the military armor on and the military armor, as you guys saw, those zombies were probably doing like a two damage a pop to us. That was absolutely nothing. Now it looks like the terminal here is broken, so we can't actually go into the underground of Bunker Bravo. That will probably come in a future update, but there are a couple of these things up top side that we can actually loot, and I'm totally into that because, ooh. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a quick phone call, and because I record this on my phone, there was a little bit of a conflict of interest there, but we got like five Band-Aids, bunch of food, another Charlie card for whenever Bunker Charlie becomes accessible. But this right here is what I'm interested in. Also, our old dead body from when that whole disaster happened, we left behind a couple of pretty nice things. Not as much as I remember, actually, yeah. Probably the only thing notable we lost was a machete. That wasn't even that bad of a loss back then. But right now I'm interested in getting into these lockers and seeing what these have on them. This is Bunker Bravo. This was, I don't know. I still can't believe, hello, SWAT helmet, huh? Well, they look to be in really bad shape, which kind of really sucks. I think the good news is, absolutely worst case, if we run out of room, we should be able to come back here. I don't think... Hello. I like what I see. I like what I see a lot. Okay, okay, okay. This has got me in a pretty good mood to start. Pretty good mood to start the day in. I'll take that. I'll also just drink all the water. We have plenty of water back home. I don't care too much. We can leave some of that behind. So we have a lot of armor we have to pick up. And a lot of couple of things that we probably have to drop to make it happen. Honestly, this might be the perfect time for us to learn how to make band-aids. And hopefully we can find one more cloth and then just stack some stuff. Uh, and then we can just use all the cloth we find to craft into band-aids and then that should save us a little bit of room because as is right now i don't know there's definitely a couple things we're missing but we're gonna be able to walk home with even more guns at this point like we already have two ak's back at home we have uh one other thing i'm pretty sure what's the other thing well, we have the minigun with us dude sweet mama there's some good stuff here i'm gonna leave this behind because i'd definitely rather take the mil i think the military is better anyways well not the beanie I might leave the beanie behind, but uh, let's see. This thing is 12 armor. Arm. Wait, hold on. SWAT's even better. Okay, so no, never mind. We taking that. We taking that. We taking that. We taking that. Are the tactical boots better than what we had before? Well, they look pretty broken, so I don't know. Beanie can go though. Huh? I thought for sure. I feel like the military would have better stuff than the SWAT, don't you think? Like you know, the people fighting a war would maybe have better stuff than the special unit of the police. 
All right, well, regardless of whatever we think of that, we do have a couple of lockers here that we do have to consolidate. I don't think we're gonna be able to bring all of this back home unless I eat up all the beans. So I'll just eat up all the beans because I don't care about the beans. We have plenty of food back home. We get beans every day anyways. Like, yeah, we'll be fine with that. Uh, we, uh, if only we didn't have to pick up some of our old stuff, but I'm gonna actually take the wires or... Eh, we have a good amount of wires back home. I know I could take a couple sets of wires. I think we'll just come back for the wires another time because as is right now, some of these things we already have a good amount of at home like the wires, but with the small engine part, I don't think we had a small... We have like one small engine part back at home and that's something we have to start stockpiling anyways. And here are the tactical caps and stuff. They're in okay shape, but yeah, I think we might try and just... I think it might be best for us to try and come back. Now, before we leave this place, though, I can't get over that bloodbath that happened right there. Before we leave this place, is there anything in the surrounding areas? I always feel like in one of these bunkers, one of these bunkers, there has to be like an Easter egg. There has to be something somewhere, but so far it's definitely just been trees. So maybe we should bring a hatchet. Actually, I do have a hatchet on my dead body. Well, maybe if this body stays dead, we can come back if we have some extra inventory room. Ooh. This might be the perfect way of handling Bunker Bravo now that I think about it. Okay. I think we got our game plan under control. Electronics! Electronic parts will come in handy when assembling a radio and other electrical devices. Don't throw them away. Don't throw away your electronics, kids. Make sure to keep them intact and all that. And... Ooh, there is something on the way home. We got an airdrop. If we have just enough stamina to run there, we could also run home for 48, but might as well run here, see what it has. Worst case, we're probably gonna have to walk back home after this, that's fine. Worst case though, if we find something good, we can definitely make it to home and back within like an hour 14 minutes. Yeah, and there should be some pretty good zombies to kill. Zombie killing is always good, that always gets up our uh, level. I like getting our level as high as possible. You know what else I like though? Whenever this game gets updates. I'm really hoping to get another one soon. We also, we still haven't checked out Rexar for the last base. And I wouldn't mind a little bit of base looting, so we might need to craft up some hatchets and go and pay our neighbor a little bit of a visit. And maybe visit some of these like further areas. Although I don't think there's a difference between this limestone bridge, not bridge, ridge, and that limestone ridge. But you know what we might finally do? I think maybe we might finally go into our first yellow area. I don't think we've ventured into these types of places yet, but with the types of uh, guns, types of armors, all that we're starting to get, I think it might be within our best interest to try and venture into one of these places. But for now, we're venturing into the airdrop, where there will probably be, probably, English is hard, probably be something that wants to kill us, but at the same time, I want to kill some things. So... My priorities come before your zombies. Sincerest of apologies. Tell your face that I'm sorry. Oh wait, you can't. Hello, fast biter. Goodbye, fast biter. Nothing like a nifty 90 damage. Ooh, speaking of that, we just got a little bit of inventory room, didn't we? Cause uh, yeah, we just got another band-aid. That goes on top of that band-aid. We're also coming back with five first aid kits. First aid kits are amazing. So I'm pretty sure they heal you all the way. Oh no, I'm, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to scare you away. But yeah, first aid kits I think heal you up all the way. So if we get like ever a full 20 stack of first aid kits, what do we need to craft them? If we ever get a full 20 stack, that would not even be fair. And a truck wheel? What the hell? I kind of want to leave something behind for this truck wheel. Maybe the Charlie card. Mm, I'm, yeah, no, I'll, I'll leave the cloth behind. Dude, there's... There's surprisingly good stuff here that I really... I, the one iPhone, to hell with it. Definitely taking that. Ow, ow. Damn it, fast fighter. I will machete you. Eat my machete. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything I'd want to sacrifice. I've never seen a truck wheel, so I'm definitely bringing that back. We have a couple skull crushers back home. It does suck leaving one behind though, because skull crushers are pretty freaking awesome. But we're gonna take this opportunity to try and get jump on all these fellas. All right, first, ah, no, I'm gonna be smelly. I don't want to be smelly. Ah, all right, I'm able to dodge him a little bit. See you later, Roman zombie. Machetes might honestly be one of the best weapons in the game. 1.3 attack speed with 30 damage, and we got a couple of these back at home too. Like, not gonna lie, not too shabby. And speaking of things, ooh, I'm. We might be able to get enough cloth 
to honestly... I'm gonna... Hold on. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a trick here. Every time we get cloth, we might be able to craft up one more band-aid. If we can find one more cloth. And to be completely honest, I, there's no reason we shouldn't be able to get... Oh, Jesus. Hello, floater bloater. Don't mind me, buddy. Just... Uh, okay. Do, do we engage in combat? Uh, I might engage in minigun combat. That's what today's all about, lads and lassies. It's about the miniguns, so might as well <laughs> make it count. All right. We, we already butchered one horde. Might as well take this opportunity and uh, take out our other friend. Unfortunately, I think it let everyone in a 60 mile radius know, hey, look at me. I have a gun. Come and find me. Sweet mama. I don't, not the cigarettes. I'll, I'll hard pass on those. Four more cloth, though. If we could take this back to wherever the airdrop is, which I have no clue where it is. There it is. Yeah. That right there should be at least a couple of ban- well, not a couple. It's one band-aid, but we might even be able to get one more on top of that. And I like this, that we finally learned the stupid uh, band-aid recipe, because now it lets us consolidate our inventory room a little bit, something we've always kind of struggled to do. I don't- oh, Sweet mama, Grey Wolf. Don't scare the crap out of me like that. Yeah, but this is really good, just for like a future looting thing, because I know I come home with cloth a lot of times, so now... I mean, I could just be like, yeah, I'll just craft it into band-aids, and then that should be able to consolidate. Oof. Dude, we keep... I might just leave behind some of these helmets. Ugh. Okay, in the future, you guys, obviously, this isn't a live stream. You can't tell me what you want me to do in this very moment. But in the future, if I ever find stuff that is as broken as this, do I even bother going for it or what let me know your guys' opinion on that again this is our series we are playing this together all right so these these are not just my decisions to make hello winner you you know what i just want to kill this guy by minigun because why the hell not you know i'm trying to have fun with the game sure someone's gonna be like starred you did not use the minigun in the most efficient way but hey you know i'm I, I like mowing things down with miniguns and what's the point i don't think there's anything tougher in the world than Maybe, well, there's the big one, but apparently rumors have been saying what you guys have been telling me. The big one can't be killed, which is very sketchy, but it sounds about right. His name's the big one. He's probably pretty tough. The beanie, the SWAT helmet. Uh, yeah, we should be able to get another band-aid too, but the big one. Apparently you can find him in random situations, which is horrifying to me. Because apparently he can't be killed without cheats. So what that pretty much means is if you find him, you should run like hell. Because if you don't... He will poop all over your Cheerios. Have you ever eaten poopy Cheerios? I'm gonna tell you right now, it is not worth whatever trouble you might think it's worth. Mm, I might honestly, like, uh, I'm tempted to bring the Skull Crusher with us instead of maybe the SWAT helmet, or, eh, I'm tempted to do it, because the SWAT helmet isn't as big as the SWAT body armor. That, that gives us 12 armor, that gives us nine. Compared to the next tier, dude, oh, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Damn it, why did Grey Wolves keep attacking me? What have I done to you? Look at that, we take one damage with our current armor situation. It's amazing. So if we came across the big one, that would be beyond sketchy. Because I would have to run like hell. But like I was saying, I might leave behind the helmet. It's already getting to be pretty poopy. And I might just want to take the Skull Crusher with us. Because if you sneak attack something with the Skull Crusher, that thing, what, does 45 base damage? Yeah, whatever, just come at me, Fast Fighter. You're gonna do like five damage to me anyway. I'll survive. If I get desperate, I'll eat a couple berries. I'll make some berry stew, all right? I'll drink some fruit punch. Speaking of that, oh my God, don't even get me started. I am just so, I'm so angry, man. The place where I live, if you guys don't know, I live by Chicago. They added in, they have, they have a freaking sugar tax now. I crap you not. So if you guys know like the giant Arizona cans, right? Sometimes they're on sale for like, oh, hello, friend, what are you? Another gray wolf? Dude, I look, why, what, why do so many gray wolves just feel so attracted to me? But, yeah, so I went over, sometimes, you know, you can buy uh, two for a dollar with the giant Arizona cans. You guys know the giant Arizona cans with, like, different green teas or, like, Arnold Palmer half and half, that type of stuff? Well, you know, two for a dollar is no longer the case. I ended up paying, like, okay, this is gonna sound like the biggest first world problem. Ever, but hold on, it, it, I'll, I'll make sense of it, okay? <laughs> so I ended up paying like 53%, or I think it was, I ended up paying 56 cents on top of the dollar in tax, because there's like 10% sales tax, there's the sugar tax, which are like every ounce that you have, uh, goodbye helmet, hello this, every ounce that you have just does not, it just disappear, it not, I don't know, why am I trying to say disappear? 
This is not a magic act. But every ounce that you have is taxed an extra cent. So that might not seem that bad. But when you, when you have good deals like that, it kind of screws it up that I have to end up paying, like, you know, instead of maybe, like, with that, I could have pretty much gotten another can, but instead I have to give that money away. Which sucks. And, like, I like I, I don't know. Just first world problems. Listen, it's it's been on my mind. I had to get it out somewhere, okay? It's just, it's just killing me on the inside. It, it really hurts. But we're going to start walking back home now. We got a little bit of a walk ahead of us. We still got some of these cool things here that we could grab. Look at that special. Oh my god, that is a lot of things. That's saw blade mace. That is the strongest weapon I've ever seen. We've yet to get a shotgun or a VSS Vintores. Now, I gotta ask you guys this. Can we find those anywhere in the wild? Or do we have to, like, buy them? Is that the only way to get them? I know we can find M16s because we found one already. Uh, we actually found one just today, about like 10 minutes ago. Uh, so what what did I go? This is equipment? Well, okay. Well, we have the AK. We've bought that before. We can only buy it once. We can't buy it again. They have two M16s, five Glocks, whatever. I know we can find Glocks. We found those. We can find M16s. We found like one AK and one minigun, but that still leaves the rest of those weapons. So yeah, if we go in the zombie warfare pack, or is there like maybe a gun pack that shows off all the guns? I don't know. Maybe? Somewhere? Transport? Box of spares? Dude, does this have all the engine parts that we need? Ooh. This might be handy, although I don't feel like paying for it, so this is definitely gonna be some tough decisions made, but pack for body repairs? What is that? Different patterns? That's gonna be awesome. We can spray paint our stuff. I, I know we've had the spray paints, but actual patterns? That's gonna be cool. Then there's gasoline, which we don't need. But it's a good thing we've started stockpiling some gasoline, too, because I think that's gonna start being a thing. And uh, holy hell, gasoline barrels. That's a lot of gas, but that's gonna cost a lot of gold eventually. But for now, yeah, we got... We just gotta wait at this point. We gotta make our way home. That's gonna be a little bit, so I'll talk to you in about 12 minutes or so. Actually, scratch that because I realized that I told someone that I would pick them up for something because uh, I need to get some exercise in. I haven't balled in like a week. If you guys don't know, I play basketball, and uh, for once, my friends actually want to play basketball, so I need to capitalize on this opportunity. So I might need to cut this video a little bit short. I know this is like gonna be a 16 minute video or so. Apologies about that, but don't worry. We got some pretty cool stuff coming up, like our entire run back through Bunker Alpha. Definitely gonna do that. Definitely gonna do a little bit more base building one of these days as well. Hopefully we find another gun dealer, but we're also gonna start going to these harder areas. I'm pretty excited to do that because we've yet to venture into anything that isn't green. Even in my free time, I have not gone into yellow because I want our first experience in the harder areas to be on video. So that's kind of the game plan. And apparently the harder areas, it's not working now because we can't click on them. But apparently the harder areas have a better loot. I remember like the green areas only have like one loot box out of three possible. I remember the yellow had two, so I'm guessing the red will have like three. And maybe the nicer areas will even have nicer types of resources we could gather, like different metals, that type of stuff. So I'm pretty excited for that. So there's still a couple of good areas that we have to explore. Absolutely no worries. There's still a good amount of stuff. I kind of want to go to these woods too, because that's where all of the zombie horde comes from. So I feel like there could be some interesting stuff there. That just looks like another one. But we also have to raid Rexar. So we still got quite a few things on the to-do list. And hopefully before that to-do list is even close to being finished, we can get some uh, we can get some updates up in the game. I think that'll be pretty realistic, pretty reasonable. But other than that, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for me. I hope all of you guys have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day. Whether you're watching this on Thursday, the day it comes out. God, I hope it's Thursday. Otherwise, I just sound like the biggest dingus in the world. Uh, whatever day you're watching this on, maybe it's the next day, maybe it's Friday. Whatever it is, I hope your day is absolutely amazing. If it isn't, I hope it gets better. If it doesn't, I hope tomorrow is definitely a step in the right direction on the path towards awesome. But that's going to do it for me. Have yourselves a fan-freaking-tastic day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.